Hi guys, so Watham's here with another Fall Guys related video. This video is going to be a little bit different compared to my normal tutorials as we will take a look on how you can install this very awesome stat tracker that you can have as an overlay on your game or on a separate monitor if you have that. And you also have this cool screen where you get all of the stats for the game. Before we start, I need to mention that you will need to know the exact uh, win count that you have currently in the game as it is not retroactive. To find out the exact win count, there are a few calculators you can find around the internet as the game doesn't currently track your win count, but there's a few ways you can figure it out. The cool thing about this stat tracker is that you can have it as an overlay in your game, you can have it down in the corner or move it wherever you want, and even though you're actually playing the game, it will not go away and you can have it as an overlay the entire time and mainly use it as a personal thing or if you are a streamer and show your viewers different stats about your game and how you've been doing. I mainly use it because I'm a streamer and to have a, an idea of how long I've taken on each level if I want to try and speedrun a race or on a final like jump showdown where I want to try and time it out. In order to install this stat tracker, you will need WinRAR or 7-Zip. I personally use WinRAR, so I will show you how to use this. If you already know, you can skip to this section in the video. To download WinRAR, you either just go to Google or find the link in the description down below. Type in WinRAR, search that, and you go to WinRAR.com and press the download button. It will say that it's a trial version and you will have to buy it, but you can just close down the window that says it's a trial version and you're fine to go. Nobody will come and knock on your door. To install the stat tracker, click on the link in the description, scroll down a bit, and click on the Fall Guys stats.zip under download. This will open a, a download window, press OK, and it'll download. It's a very small file, so it shouldn't take too long. The please purchase by WinRAR license and just close that. Now you need to extract the files. To do this, I'll open up your explorer, figure out where you want the program to be located. I'll just take my local disk D. I'll create a new folder, call it Fall Guys Stat Tracker. Now you just highlight the two files that are in the WinRAR window and drag them over like that. And you have them right here. Now you double click it and it should install. I've already done that, so I will delete this again. Once you've opened the program, you should have a window that looks something like this, probably with a lot of zeros in all of these columns, as you haven't used the stat tracker yet. Now you go into settings and make sure that the file down here, the file path, is for your Fall Guys client game. If you haven't changed the Steam location where you install Fall Guys, this shouldn't be a problem. It should already be here. Now you can play around with some of these uh, settings. I will not do that just yet. But you need to go in here and enter the amount of wins you have as you have installed the tracker, as it will take that as the base. As you can see, I had 265 wins when I downloaded this tracker, so I put in 265. And once you've done that, you click save and you press the overlay button and you get this thing. This is the main thing that you will be using as it will be the overlay on Fall Guys, but you don't need to have it on. You can just click overlay again and remove it and you can just use the numbers in here. I tend not to do that because they can be quite overwhelming to try and look at all of the stats, but that's up to you how you want to use it. I would highly recommend going into settings and play around so it looks just how you want it to be. You can remove information so it's a little shorter or you can hide stuff and, and yeah, just use all of these and, and play around with them. And if you accidentally do something that you don't like, just press cancel and it won't save it. Once your settings are as you want them to be, press launch Fall Guys and wait for it to open up. As you can see in the game, it works very fine. I can use my mouse. I can just I have selected the game now, I just click to, uh, to go on to the next screen and I can just drag it if I want to. It is very easy to move around. I prefer to have it in the bottom lower left corner. You can place it wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. And then you just load up a game and it should automatically work. 
if it doesn't work, I am not an expert on this program at all. I just made the tutorial on how to install it. So I would recommend going to the GitHub page where you downloaded it and look at the issues tracker or create a new issue. I think you will need to have a GitHub account to do this, but it shouldn't be too hard to do. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more future Fall Guys content. Also make sure to find me on Twitch where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. Link in the description down below. I have been Wardrums and you have been you and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day and a good life. Bye. Don't you dare dude. <laughs> the immediate revenge. <laughs> Got him.